Welcome back YouTube to another episode of Idle Heroes Adventures. Today, which I mean I guess it's technically the same day, we finished Celestial Island on the main account. So we're going to take a look at that and kind of get your views on what I should do for the upgrades. Mostly just because I'm confused on what I should be doing and maybe you guys could give me some insight. So anyways, first things first. Um claim that as always and we should we should be done because we are 0.6 percent away there we go just like that just like that so we just finished got all of our rewards six profit orbs 15 scrolls six star and all of that good stuff which honestly not too bad we got some four stars some three stars some fragments of a five star two wishing coins not too bad and we unlocked a lot but first thing i want to do is upgrade the engine before i forget just because we need that so anyways we got this which is the shadow one that makes sense we got this one on the other account and we're back um these are what i was talking about whenever i said i need help i don't know what to do you know, should I go for the evil side or the light side? I'll show you my team here in a second. Um, but again, I don't know which side I should really go on and what I should start with. I don't think speed is really it. But, you know, picking the side is definitely more important. We'll cover that in a second. But I chose to stick with this one. As it's 9 star food as a whole. And I'm just going to save up for, you know, the big anniversary and this should get done before that and it'll give me a free nine star so again that's my thinking about it i might even be able to do this once and then maybe get another six star afterwards it might have been smarter to go for the six star but still i was just thinking you know just in case it's probably better to just go for the nine star and finish it as soon as i can so again that's my logic what are you guys doing? Overall, it makes more sense to do the 6-star over and over again, but, you know, that's just me. I, I'm thinking I'll get more food in this one go about, and it'll just be easier. I won't have to worry about too much. Um, so if you see my teams, this is basically it. Um, feel free to attack me. In fact, I'm going to change that. So uh, feel free to attack my weapon system. Um, I guess. That would be pretty mean of you, but, you know, we're all trying to make progress. Just making sure everything looks decent, and let's get on to it. Because, again, we only really need one, one lineup that's really strong. Obviously, you kind of want one for defense. There we go. Let's see if this method works. Server 2. So this could be, this could be almost impossible. You know, depending on what this dude is rocking. But from what I've experienced most of the third lineups, they're either trash or they're their main lineups, like what I'm doing. 0.6, interesting. I don't know why I thought it would be a 2%, two, two because that would be a l much larger jump. It's kind of cool how it's, like, even, I guess, but at the same time, not really. You know, I kind of wish that it could be done a little bit sooner. But still, we're 0.66 already. Um, so I guess that's one thing to look forward to. We have 40-something, 40 47 days. So I guess I'll just have to check in constantly, and I'll keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. Um, but again, I'm pretty excited for this, because getting, you know, just a free 9-star will be great food. I already have three 9-star dummies at my disposal. Um, you know, so I should be have I should have more than enough food for an E5 whenever anniversary rolls around. And again, this is just adding food to the fire for sure. Um, but still, if you think about it, you know, each fight could give you, you know, 1% or so. You're probably going to get 2 to 3 of those every single day. So that's, a, that's an extra 3%, um, you know, for the most part on this long one. So you're really, you know, it's not going to take you that long. And the, the shorter one, you get 2.4, 2. something like that. I think it was 2.38, but still. You're getting about 2.5% each fight that you win. Again, you can get about 2 to 3 a day 
if you win them all, that's 7%, you know, maybe more. Um, and then, you know, you, you get stuff like this, and I count that as well. But still, you can finish a lot quicker than it really sounds. And the, the speed upgrade helps a lot. Can we go 3 for 3 on this? Because that would be really nice. That would, that would be a really nice start. I mean, I guess the second one was kind of just a freebie. Um, and it only cost 50 gems, which, by the way, you should totally do. That's, uh, it's just great. So, again, this one looks like this dude's actual team. You know, you got Penny, who's popular. Valkyrie used to be major, major. Ada Aspen, obviously. DA, she's not as popular as I've, you know, expected. And then Horus. Horus is still killer. But like I was saying, you know, a lot of people... I feel like are doing it this time around um, for the auxiliary system as their main. So, or wait, I, th I think that's what it's called. Anyways, they're, they're using the third one. So, all I'm saying is be careful whenever you are setting your teams up and who you're attacking because that matters. But anyways, final question that I want to ask you guys is where should I go into now that you've seen my team? And, you know, that's really the only team that I'm using. So, should I go for the light side or the dark side? Should I go for attack? Should I go for, you know, whatever? I'm thinking dark side just to help me on sea land. Because I'm so close to beating 20. And it might push me over the edge. So, anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. And, what did you decide for your voyage? Are you going for the 6 star again? Or, are you going to go for the 9 star? Can't wait to hear all that down below. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Again, if you have any ideas for content, let me know. I always love to do whatever you guys want. Anyways, guys, I will catch you in the next one, and I hope you have a fantastic day. See you. Stay safe.